crew. I'm here to get you set up for your Saturday morning 40 minutes of fun for Rev. Okay, um, it's a 40 minute AMRAP, so you're gonna get your heart rate up and stay at a nice steady pace and keep moving for 40 minutes. The only twist to this AMRAP is you have the set task of accomplishing 90 burpees at some point during that 90 minutes. Not 90 minutes, 40 minutes. Uh, <laughs> you could set straight out the gate and do 90 burpees and then begin the workout, or you could break them into smaller sets and do them after each movement. That would be my strategy because I hate large sets of burpees. Okay, first movement in your workout today is a farmer carry, suitcase carry, front rack carry, or overhead carry of any object. You can do this with anything. Um, for simplicity's sake, I have a kettlebell. I'm gonna put it in the front rack. And we're going 30 steps today. So I'm gonna count out 30 steps. And when I get there, I'm gonna leave my kettlebell on the ground. I'm coming back just for the sake of the video. The next movement is 30 mountain climbers, or jump ropes, jumping jacks, or oblique twists. Something that's gonna get your heart rate really high. We haven't done the oblique twist before, so I'm gonna show you that. My toes face one way, my hands face the other way. Hopping for 30 hops. All right, after that, I'm gonna crawl 30 steps. So you're going to get into your bear crawl or your leopard crawl. Count yourself out 30 steps. So in real life, you will have done your jumping jacks on one end, you'll have walked back to the other. And when you get here, you have 30 shoulder taps or plank up downs. When you complete 30 reps, you have lunge walk or post march back to your carry. So your lunge walk, watch it for your shoulder, hip and knee to stay stacked, knee over ankle here, walk on. If you don't have um, space for the walking, you can always do that in place. Or if it's hard on your knees, do that in place. The other option is the post march. So you're gonna hinge at the hip. Reach past the knee. That can be done with or without weights. All right, so now we've made it through one of each of our walking segments, or our moving segments, I should say. And we are to 30 sit-ups or 30 hollow rocks. If you don't have an ab mat, you can stick your feet under something heavy for sit-ups, or you have your hollow rock variation. Okay, then we are back to the start with the farmer carry, suitcase carry, front rack carry, or overhead carry. I'm not gonna demo that again because you know what it is. Okay, then 30 skaters. Lots of good cardio in this one. Cross your foot behind, hop laterally, cross over. If you wanna make things big and dynamic, jump and touch your toe. If that's not so good for your joints, you can step, cross and touch. Make them as big or as little as you would like. Then we are to 30 steps crawling again. You know how to do that. 30 push presses. If you have a heavier kettlebell, you can go 15 on each side. If you have a pair of lighter dumbbells, you can do three sets of 10 with both arms. You'll have to scale that one according to the weight that you have and what you're doing. Then you are back to the top and we repeat again. Remember, you're getting 90 burpees done somewhere in there. So if it was up to me, after I complete a carry, I'd do three burpees. Then I do my mountain climbers or my twists and do three burpees. Do a crawl, do three burpees. All right, have fun with that one.
Happy Saturday, everybody. I just want to start out by saying, as much as I love making you these videos, I miss you so much. I can't wait to get back to the gym and see you. So everybody, be, please give me a comment and say hi. Let me know if you like these warm-ups or not. I just need to hear from you. Okay, um, here's your warm-up for this happy Saturday morning. We're gonna go with uh, five reps or something, 10 reps or something, then a dynamic stretch. First five reps are going to be plank walkout push-ups, also known as inchworms, but we're gonna stay in place. So I'm gonna hinge at the hips, stretching hammies, walk it out, one, two, three, four, and one more to make five. And the work. All right, then, so that was a movement that you could use if your knees are bothering you and you can't do burpees. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do as many of those as you would do burpee reps, though. All right, um, oblique twist. Another cardio movement you could sub in. My toes face one way, my arms are the other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, because I think I started counting at two, and that doesn't really make sense. Okay, then pump stretch. Drive your hips high. Drive your heels towards the ground. Chest down. Come through into up dog. Hips to the ground. Chest up. Look over each shoulder. Next five movements are plank squat hops. So I'm just gonna go to my plank, hop my feet forward, come to the bottom of my squat, and repeat. Oh. Back, forward, squat, back, forward, squat. This is three. And five. All right. And lunges. I'm going to stay in place for sake of the video, but treat this like you would if I said, all right, lunge walk from rig to rig. Use that time to stretch and get in whatever kind of lunge you need to get in. I think that's about six. Nine. Good Samson here. One more Samson, and that makes 10 ish. Okay, next one is dynamic scorpion. So we're back to a stretch on your belly, arms out. And I'm going to use this hand for leverage. Kick over and hold. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. I'm gonna go through that three times. Oh, my breathing is heavy today. Anybody else feeling allergies kicking in? My asthma usually gets me in the spring. I'm starting to feel it. That's a good thing. I want spring to be here. All right, strict press. Whatever weight you have, we're gonna go five left and five right. If you have something heavy, if you have lighter dumbbells, you can go five at the same time with your left and right. And five, okay? Then 10 up downs. 
your burpee without a push-up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not least cat cows or pretzels so cat cow is here tuck the chin raise the spine and then drop it down look to the ceiling if that's not your jam reach over grab your foot Give it a little twist. We're not gonna hold too long before we work out. Let's make sure everything feels like it is where it's supposed to be. I would say do another round, but I can hear the groaning. That was probably about five minutes of warming up. As long as you start in at a slow pace and increase pace as you go, you'll be fine to start this workout. Let's get it, 40 minutes of fun.